next uh, several <laughs> within the sorry heard my mic was off um, for the next several minutes to about a half hour or so that usually comes in just before seven o'clock and that will give us the new wind speeds as well as the movement and of course the pressure and things like that but no new track as you know at these intermediate advisories coming up at one and seven hurricane sally uh, is what we're tracking right now of course here is the forecast path just to give you another look at it and it is edging a little bit more and more to the east and that's been the trend since yesterday and we saw some models showing that as early as kind of the second part of the day yesterday. And so thankfully uh, for New Orleans, at least it does look like that will continue. Now we're still concerned for our folks who are watching us in Mississippi. There could still be some very high uh, rain totals around there and farther east along the Gulf Coast. So just outside of our immediate viewing area, not ever good to see those high rain totals zeroing in really anywhere. But here's the steering pattern that we've been talking about a kind of weak pattern. Of course, if it were strong, it would be moving it in. It would be just uh, really making a quick trajectory across the US or something like that. But instead, we have just a kind of meandering, slow moving storm. There's a big high. All these oranges are showing general high pressure to the north, and that's sort of blocking it and just kind of keeping it in the same range. We will see the high building out eventually to the east of the system, and that will help to direct it to the north. So that's why we're expecting that jog to the east and then eventually to the northeast. Here's a trough of low pressure that will come into the scene and you can see between the movement around this high and around the trough of low pressure. Eventually Sally will be taking a more northeasterly path by the end of the week. So Chris was showing you this graphic and so we did uh, he, uh, updated all the numbers and I updated this one too. So this is a little bit more in line with what the models have been showing. I showed you the GFS and the Euro were showing those really lower drastically lowered amounts of rain for almost right at the state line from Louisiana all the way to the west. But now we're seeing from the Weather Prediction Center and they are a, an entity uh, within NOAA, just like the National Weather Service, the Storm Prediction Center. There are all these different outlets for looking at different things. So the Weather Prediction Center um, used to be called the Hydro Meteorological Prediction Center. They changed the name to simplify it a few years ago. Weather Prediction Center, they look at rain totals and things like that in general patterns of rain and low pressure, high pressure across the US. So that's who's coming up with this forecast and this is for the next three days and when you see these blues that's really not much. In fact, any time of year, if we see the, the blues showing up for projected rain in the next couple of days, I mean, that corresponds to about an inch. So that would not be much. So it's interesting to see that over the next three days, uh, the Net Weather Prediction Center is now coming into line with some of the model output, as expected, of course, um, as they're looking really closely and do a great job usually with these kind of maps. Of course, for people in Mississippi, we're still concerned for you guys. It looks like you will still be dealing with some high rain totals. Now, if the track continues, shifting east. Even some of you may be closer if you happen to be watching us from outside our area toward Biloxi and Gulfport. It does look like there will be some heavy rain, but we may see the gradient possibly shift a little bit more east, but it's very uh, it's really something just to see the actual gradient so tight ranging from almost nothing. The greens are a half inch or less to five to ten plus inches just over our immediate viewing area, really. So right now, by the way, in New Orleans, we do have some ominous clouds. I also saw plenty of blue sky today. I'm sure you saw that too. And our reporters have been showing us the different conditions in different locations. It's 84, but feels like 92. And I thought it was pretty hot and humid today. Dew point well into the 70s. We have that tropical air mass. You can feel it at the surface. And our temperatures range mainly within the 80s, but a couple of spots and you can see where some of those downpours have moved have dipped into the 70s now and still super steamy and humid though. Here are current winds. So we are seeing some increased winds. Buris 25 mile per hour sustained winds. The lakefront 20 mile per hour. Kenner about 15. Not so breezy from St. Tammany Parish to the north. Gulfport getting 21 mile per hour winds. And now when we look at recent wind gusts, been up to about 25 miles per hour or so. And we are looking at a little bit higher um, wind, of course, expected moving into tonight and then particularly tomorrow and maybe even for some eastern areas all the way into tomorrow night and early Wednesday. And um, as Chris mentioned, if you go to our website, we have a parish by parish what to expect from Sally and I'll try to get these on air too, but it really breaks everything down parish by parish. I just updated it with new rain totals and winds so you can find your parish or county. We include Hancock and Pearl River County, of course, in our viewing area in Mississippi, too. And you can get um, the expected um, kind of pinpointed 
uh, conditions for your area and I'll get those on air for you too in a little bit. Our wind speed forecast going through Tuesday morning. You can see is kind of about the same for much of the area North Shore and in the city of New Orleans at Buras. You can see, of course, higher rain and uh, by that point wind as well and over toward Gulfport you saw there there was a high wind sustained speed of about 40 or so miles per hour in gusts higher than that so that would be closer to the storm no surprise that that would be where the highest winds are and then as we get into Wednesday morning here we are with sustained winds showing up in the white that would be maybe 10 to 15 or so miles per hour for much of our area and gusts maybe a bit higher than that so that's how the winds are looking right now I showed you the rain and of course the surge is something that we've been tracking, uh, but some areas, as Chris was pointing out, have risen only a bit so far, but we still have all of tomorrow, too. So that could still be um, certainly a concern along our especially east facing shorelines and over in Mississippi, too. Here's radar right now. There was that big downpour uh, just kind of moving across St. Tammany. So while some of the models are showing very low rain amounts, um, just take it with a grain of salt because we may have a little downpour bringing a little bit more than that for some spots. But in generally, those would be manageable rain totals, of course, for much of Louisiana. Here we are with some of those downpours around Bogalusa and into St. Tammany. And here are most of the heavy rain bands and just so little movement. This is our loop that goes back about two uh, to three hours and you can see it's just still spinning here uh, just off the coast of the uh, Gulf Coast. Our passing rain expected later on tonight. Our forecast for tonight has 70s to about 80 degrees for lows and it will be windy. It is kind of breezy right now in some spots. Tomorrow we're looking for highs about 85 and as you make your plans tomorrow, it may be somewhat similar to today for some areas. We'll probably have overcast skies. It will be a touch windier as of course Sally will be uh, just a little bit closer closer to the coast, but it looks like staying to the east and then it does look like we'll have passing downpours tomorrow too. So this is not to say we won't get any rain at all. Uh, the high rain chance, by the way, when you talk about probability of precipitation, it's just whether you will get rain or not. So a higher uh, rain chance, it could be anything from a shower to a heavy downpour, just as for what that actually refers to the definition. So decent rain chances through the afternoon tomorrow, making plans for tomorrow. It'll be cloudy, windy temperatures mainly in the 80s, maybe highs only around 85 or so, and our rain chance will be there, but some of it might be on the lighter side, especially off to the west. So getting back into the hurricane names really quickly, we only have one left. Incredible to have had 20 named storms, and we've had these going since before the uh, hurricane season officially started. Of course, back in May, we were getting uh, named storms. We only have one left. It would be Wilfred, and it looks like Wilfred might be forming soon with a wave coming off of Africa. I showed you a little while ago that map showing how much we had going on, and it doesn't look like anything else is threatening us uh, soon. So that is a good thing. Right now we are dealing with Sally, but nothing else coming at the moment, even though we do have four to five tropical cyclones out there and maybe a new one coming. If we do get into the Greek alphabet, which of course looks likely. The NOAA forecast would take us to about Delta, perhaps. In 2005, we did make it to Zeta, but it's something to think about. It's mid-September right now. By October, we'll probably be using uh, these names to refer to those um, different storms that might crop up. Our seven-day forecast showing tomorrow a decent rain chance, and for those of you in Mississippi, that will be the day, especially uh, starting overnight tonight and into tomorrow that we will see most of the impacts with rain and surge and also with our wind. And then as we get into Wednesday, we'll have a decent chance for a little bit of uh, continued rain perhaps. Thursday into Friday though, some dry air might begin to wrap in. So we will be looking for the potential for that trough to dr drag in a little less humid air. So we will see if temperatures go down a bit. Some models are showing around 80 degrees, low 80s for Sunday into Monday. So that would be a good Thing, and probably some somewhat breezy conditions continuing through the weekend, too. Wilfred is all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. All right. <laughs> With Sally moving east, people along the coast now making a lot of preparation.